Hi, I'm Tony Ambler. I'm chairman of the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at University of Texas at Austin. And I'm also currently the director of the engineering management uh, program that we've been running now for approximately six or seven years. Now, why engineering management? Well, in most bachelor's degrees in engineering, we don't cover much, if any, management issues. And it's the management issues which really make engineering engineering. Otherwise, why shouldn't we just do a physics degree or a mathematics degree? What turns it into um, an engineering degree is really the management expertise, managing groups of engineers to work together to create a single product, the economics of it, uh, the reliability of the design, getting it done on time and things like that. I think we as engineers would like to think of what we do and what we design and what we're trying to produce as something quite precise. Um, it has a certain frequency, it has a certain power consumption, things like that. But when you get into engineering and manufacturing processes properly, it's not like that at all. We have to deal with the human aspects, but also the technical aspects. On the human side, we have problems with the engineers that we work with in the sense that they have sickness, they have vacation time, other time off for attending master's degree programs in engineering management. But it also introduces um, um, elements of delay and perturbations into the project. On the technical side, we have ambiguity in the sense of the quality of the materials that we're dealing with, the quality of the manufacturing process that we have to put up with, the quality of, or the ambiguity in um, our suppliers in terms of will they supply it on the time they contracted to, but there's an earthquake and or a heavy storm which gets in the way that might even destroy the factory that's supplying us. So how do we deal with the tolerances in the manufacturing process and still make the product work and work within specification that we contracted with the people we want to sell with, uh, so to sell to, and, and make it something that people want to buy. So it's all about how do we deal with ambiguity. And then you throw in the legal aspects as well and things get even more interesting. So yeah, this program will put the finger on how to deal with all the ambiguities of the engineering process.